Hi, I am the Siri Clip, and today I present to you the Simpson movie from 2007 first. It begin by a concert about the environment, but people are mad because they are here to hear music, so they throw bottle at the singers, and surprisingly the pollution dissolve the stage and lead to the singers being drowned. After the event, Krusty does a commercial with a pig for his new hamburger. Then after the commercial, Krusty want to kill the pig, and that lead to the pig escaping and going to Homer to get help. Homer Simpson loved his pet pig, Spider Pig, more than anything in the world. He didn't care that the pig produced a lot of waste, which he stored in a huge silo in his backyard. One day, he decided to get rid of the silo by dumping it into Lake Springfield, which had just been cleaned thanks to his daughter Lisa's efforts. He didn't realize that he was creating a toxic mess that would endanger the whole town. Meanwhile, Russ Cargill, the evil head of the EPA, was looking for an excuse to test his new weapon, a giant glass dome that could trap and isolate any place he wanted. He saw Springfield as the perfect target and convinced President Schwarzenegger to approve his plan. He ordered his agents to seal off the town and cut off all communication and supplies. The people of Springfield were shocked and angry when they discovered that they were trapped under the dome. They soon found out that Homer was responsible for the pollution and blamed him for their fate. They formed an angry angry mob and stormed his house, intent on killing him and his family. Homer and his family managed to escape through a sinkhole in their backyard and fled to the countryside. They decided to start a new life in Alaska, where they found a cozy cabin and plenty of money. Homer was happy, but his wife Marge and his kids Bart, Lisa, and Maggie were not. They missed their friends and felt guilty for abandoning them. They also learned from a secret video message from Cargill that he planned to blow up Springfield with a bomb hidden under the dome. They wanted to go back and stop him, but Homer refused. He said that Springfield didn't deserve their help, and that they were better off without it. Marge was heartbroken by Homer's selfishness and decided to leave him with the kids. She took a car and drove back to Springfield, hoping to find a way to save the town. Homer was left alone with Spider Pig, but he soon realized that he had made a mistake. He loved his family more than anything in the world and wanted to make things right. He took a sled and followed them across the snowy mountains facing many dangers along the way. Meanwhile, Cargill was preparing to detonate the bomb and destroy Springfield once and for all. He had blocked all the exits from the dome and set up a countdown timer. The people of Springfield had lost all hope and resigned themselves to their doom. They gathered in the town square and prayed for a miracle. Homer arrived just in time to see the bomb falling from the sky. He grabbed a motorcycle and raced towards it, hoping to throw it out of the dome before it exploded. He managed to reach it, but he couldn't lift it by himself. He needed help from someone he could trust. He looked around and saw his son Bart, who had always resented him for being a bad father. Homer apologized to Bart and asked him for his help. Bart forgave him and joined him on the motorcycle. They lifted the bomb and threw it out of the dome where it exploded in midair. The explosion shattered the dome and freed Springfield from its prison. The people cheered and celebrated their survival. They also thanked Homer and his family for saving them and forgave them for their mistakes. Homer hugged Marge and his kids and told them that he loved them more than anything in the world. He also reunited with Spider Pig, who had followed him all the way from Alaska. He decided to rename him Harry Plopper. The Simpsons returned to their home, which had been rebuilt by their friends. They watched the sunset from their couch and smiled happily. They had learned a valuable lesson, that family is the most important thing in life and that they should always stick together no matter what. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more video and hit the bell.